With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. A train starts from rest from a station with acceleration 0.2 meter per second square on a straight track. And after attaining maximum speed, it comes to rest on another station due to retardation of 0.4 meter per second square. If total time spent in half is half an hour, then distance between two stations is. So, let's say the train is moving between these two stops A and B. Now, during A and B, Let's say it accelerates for the time t1 and after this time t1 it decelerates. Now let this time be t2 and the distance for which it uh, accelerates is d1. And the distance for which it decelerates is d2. So what we have to find is the distance between two stations. So the distance between two stations will be equal to d1 plus d2. That is the final distance capital D that we have to find out. And it says that the total journey takes half an hour. So that means d1 plus d2 is equal to T1 plus T2 is equal to 1, 1 by 2 hours which is equal to since we are uh, since the acceleration is in meter per second square so let's convert this into seconds so T1 plus T2 is equal to 1 by 2 into 60 into 60 meaning 1800 seconds this T1 now, if I write the equation, uh, if I write the equation for this first half of the journey, so what do I get? If I use v square minus u square is equal to 2as, so that becomes v square minus initial velocity here will be 0 is equal to 2 into the acceleration is 0 0.2, 0 0.2 into distance d1 so v square is equal to 0 0.4 d1 this is equation number one and v minus u is equal to 80 so v minus u will be again 0 this is equal to acceleration is 0.2 and the time is t1 so v is equal to 0 0.2 t1 this is equation number two Similarly, if I write the equations for the second half of the journey, v square minus u square is equal to 2as. So, now in this case, the final velocity will be 0 because at the end of the second half of the journey, the train is finally stopping. So, this will be 0 minus the initial velocity for this will be the velocity that the train had at this point at which it started decelerating and the velocity that it had at this point is v so v square is equal to 2 into acceleration would be negative here minus 0 0.4 into d1 so v square is equal to 0 0.8 sorry this is d2 0 0.8 d2 this is equation number 3 and one using v minus u is equal to 80 once again v that is the final velocity for this case will be 0 minus the initial velocity will be v and acceleration will be negative of 0.4 and time will be t2 so v is equal to 0 0.4 t2 this is equation number 4 now using equation 2 and 4, equation 2 and 4, that is this equation and this equation, 
I can equate them because on the left hand side of both the equations is V. So that gives me 0.2 times of T1 is equal to 0.4 times of T2 which means T1 is equal to 2 times of T2 and I know that T1 plus T2 is equal to 1800 seconds so T1 plus T2 is equal to 1800 if I replace the value of T1 in terms of T2, so I get 2 T2 plus T2 is equal to 1800, which gives me 3 T2 is equal to 1800. So T2 is equal to 600 seconds. Now, if T2 is equal to 600 seconds, I can put this value into equation number 4. And I get V is equal to 0 0.4 into T2. So 0 0.4 into 600, which is equal to, uh, which is equal to 240 meter per second. Now, if V is equal to 240 meter per second, I can use this value in equation number 1 and equation number 2 to find d1 and d2 so equation number 1 says v square is equal to 0 0.4 d1 0 0.4 d1 which means 240 into 240 upon 0 0.4 is equal to d1 if i remove the point here i have to multiply by 10 in the numerator 4 times 60 is 240 so I am left with D1 is equal to 600 into 240. Similarly if I use uh, the value of V in equation number 3 I get V square is equal to 0 0.8 D2 so 240 into 240 is equal to 0 0.8 into D2 which means D2 is equal to 300 into 240 and in the question we had to find out the total distance and the total distance was D1 plus D2 that is capital D so D is equal to D1 plus D2 is equal to 600 into 240 plus 300 into 240 is equal to let's take 240 common 600 plus 300 which is equal to 240 into 900 meters to convert it into kilometers, I will divide it by 1000. So 240 into 900 upon 1000. All the zeros get cancelled. Which gives me 24 into 9. Which is 6 and 9 to 18. 216 kilometers. So the distance between the two stations is 216 kilometers. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.